A day after the alleged stabbing incident, relatives of the deceased guarded at the scene where blood stains were still visible. The incident happened at about 9 p.m. on Saturday during an altercation between the deceased and the alleged killer. An eyewitness who chose to remain anonymous narrated the incident to City News. Last night, uh, I was going to the house. When I reached this place, I saw two people fighting. So when they were fighting, I, I made an attempt to separate them, but I couldn't simply because I was standing here and they were fighting down, down here. And uh, the one, who, the, the person who is dead now, I heard him say that he has stabbed me with a knife. So when I heard that, I beat the, ba the back of the one who stabbed him. So the person lifted his eye and said, I don't know what he has done to him. Yeah, and somebody also came to help and held the hand of the one who was holding the knife. And uh, they took him away and the man was lying in the gutter, helplessly. So we helped him out of the gutter and put him uh, on the street. And there was no car passing, so I saw uh, electric tuk-tuk coming, that, that is to say Pragya coming so I lifted up my hands and stopped me and unfortunately somebody has already boarded the Pragya or the electric tube too so they never wanted to help but as they passed us a bit I don't know what happened and the woman got down and the rider came back and we put the person inside but we heard that the person has given up the ghost that was what I saw what time was this uh, I was past 9, getting to 10 p.m. Yeah. You saw the stab. How serious was it? No, I didn't see because uh, he was wearing a white shirt and the blood has soaked the shirt. That was what I saw. Do you know what brought about this confrontation? No, I don't know. I was just passing and I came to, I stumbled on them fighting over here. So did you make any complaint to the police or did the police come around? Oh, I didn't make any complaint but I understand that uh, the relatives or some people made a complaint to the police and one of the officers came here and was investigating the matter. That was what happened. Sympathizers, relatives and other neighbors of the deceased are yet to come to terms with his death. The youth in this area managed to arrest the suspect whose name was given as Isaac Nate and handed him over to police at Asqua. The bereaved family is demanding justice. Uh, say, give and take, and I say, what I say? Yeah, but no, 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 the access sometimes will so meet me a stage of rest. In the no, no, sir, boy, and they said, you see, time second, I did the share no one, we share no one, I did one. Yeah, you know, I take a surprise. What I say? Because 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 a serious case because in Takwa, I now start to make coffee. Now you should say kind of worry. Justice, ma, as soon as what I say, a buy, we are a buy asem. A buy na so ni nidi. A buy na so nidi. We are not secure. We are not be there. There be, in front of farm raso, any here. Police have begun investigations into the incident. Meanwhile, the body has been deposited at the morgue. Now the bereaved family is calling for processes to be fast-tracked to release the body of the deceased for burial according to Islamic rights, even as they intensify calls for justice. Hafiz Tijani, City News, Afunkwanta, Ashanti Region.